waiting for, Louise. Arrest her. Slap the cuffs on her, drag her down to the precinct house. Make her pay for killing the father you lost at such a tender age. Shut up, Julian. Go ahead, Louise. Arrest me. Arrest me for your father's murder. Arrest me. You're right, maybe. I'm a little too emotionally involved to think straight, you know. Uh, maybe we should call in another cop. Well, isn't that what I said when this lynching began? You've had a vendetta against the Crane since we fired your father for stealing company funds. You can't possibly investigate his death objectively. Now, I demand that you unshackle these cops. Shut up, down. Julian! And you're lucky all I did was chain you to that rail because it took all I had not to tear you to pieces. See, false arrest, now threatening. I'll see that you never work in this town or state again. Oh, you listen to me. If you don't shut up, I'm going to rip off your arm and gag you with it. Yeah. Oh, ow! Oh, I bruised so easily. Louise has to arrest me, Eve. Unless you can give me a reason not to, I gotta take her in. Sheridan confessed to killing my father. You heard her, Eve. We all did. But you can't arrest Sheridan. Because I know more about what happened that night. I have information that no one else in this room has. Well, what is it? What do you know that would keep me from arresting Sheridan? I know that Sheridan is innocent of murder. She did not kill your father, Louise. Sheridan didn't kill Martin Fitzgerald. Up to. I don't get it. How, how can you say that Sheridan didn't kill my father when she's admitted it? Yes, Eve, I remember what happened that night. I killed Martin Fitzgerald. No, Sheridan, that's not what you remembered at all. All right. I'm a little lost here. Yeah, me too. Sheridan remembered a letter opener, blood on her hands, a bloody sheet, and a coffin. Right, Sheridan? Sheridan said that she may have killed Louise's father, but she never actually remembers herself stabbing him with a letter opener. And she never actually says who it is that's under the bloody sheet or who gets taken out in the coffin. But under hypnosis, she told me. What? I still don't get it. <clears throat> My father disappeared that night. Sheridan says that she killed him. Now, if it wasn't Papa under the bloody sheet, then who was it? Good question, Louise. What can Eve possibly say now? What did I say under hypnosis? Who was under the bloody sheet? Who was in the coffin? If it wasn't Martin Fitzgerald, then who was it? Who did I kill if it wasn't Louise's father? Don't keep us in suspense any longer, Eve, please. Who did I kill? Who was under the bloody sheet and later in the coffin? It was your mother, Sheridan. My mother? How is that possible? You always felt guilty about your mother's death. Not because you killed her, but because your father always blamed you for it. Your mother had difficulty giving birth to you. She lost a lot of blood. She took to her bed because of it. You poor thing. You were just convinced that it had to be all your fault. And even though it wasn't... No, when your mother did die, you were old enough to remember when they took her coffin from the house. You transferred her death, coupled with everything that Alistair said about your mother bleeding, to that night when you were a young girl and you thought 
that you saw a bloody sheet over a body and a coffin. You turned your mother's death into Martin Fitzgerald's murder. So you see, Sheridan, Julian and Alistair were telling you the truth. And that terrible night that, that's been haunting you for so long, it, it never happened. It was just a horrible dream. You've been blaming yourself for something that you never did. You never were responsible for your mother's death and, and you didn't kill Martin Fitzgerald. I, I don't believe this. It's true, Sheridan. Under hypnosis, you told me everything that you remembered happening was a nightmare. He's lying, but why? Why? I didn't kill anyone. No. It was only a dream. I didn't kill your father, Louise. I didn't kill your father. 